Hey, YouTube world, what's going on? So, I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, I probably can't from here, but uh, another park, another run. Let me tell you something. Yeah, you don't already know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Wait, no, 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 that's Rocky Balboa. Even though that is a good speech, though, and we should definitely live by that quote. No, what I wanted to mention is uh, walking has helped my running. It really, truly has. If I were to tell you the story, you know, earlier this year in February, if it was February 26th, I ran a marathon. 3.49, strictly nose breathing only. How I managed that? Well, a lot of training prior to that. I was great aerobic shape and uh, yeah, that will and determination though. Because of the short that you see on here, my friend, she, uh, my friend Anna, she recorded that and put it on there. Yeah, she was there to support me. I oh, gotta appreciate that. And, but after that marathon, I was sore for a few days. You know, I even had to go to work that same day of the marathon. After the marathon, I had to go straight to work, clothes. I mean, my friend, she was like, are you okay? I mean, you sure you don't? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so even that Monday and Tuesday, still had to work, sore legs after running 26.2 miles. But why did I recover fairly well? I mean, could it be with the nose breathing? Because there's a lot of benefits to nose breathing, but I also want to say it is walking that low impact you know your your body's constantly moving though blood's flowing though and walking i said so many times on this channel i'm going to continue to keep saying it, it is the most underrated exercise you can do though somebody if they had time or wanted to could walk a marathon every single day and the, I mean, they'll be a little tired and sore, but their body won't be as banged up if they were to try to run a marathon every day. You know, not everyone's like uh, Dean Carnassus or Scott Jurek or any of these, uh, or uh, Tony Kurpichka, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Uh, these, some of these ultra marathon guys that run hundreds and hundreds of miles at a time and never get tired, you know? You could all say about David Goggins or Cameron Haynes and other guys who are just freaking beasts and wild animals out there and they just go, go, go. You know, but the average Joe and and, get, and Jane cannot do that, though. But they can walk a lot and they'll be okay. You know? That's why especially elderly prefer this method of exercise Bodybuilders prefer this method actually when it comes to cardio though, because it sustains longer though. I've also heard, if you want me to really go into this, I could also say, oh, this is gonna be kind of crazy, but some astrologers recommend this for a remedy when you're going through certain periods from the planets for a difficult time to walk too. I know, isn't that crazy? There's been walking documentaries about this, that, about the benefits, so. I love it. I'm gonna continue walking. I know one day or another, my joints are just gonna like, after I beat them up and stuff, they're gonna go, but I may not be able to run, like walk, so. And I can, at least I'll continue to try to do as much as I can until Time will allow me to, though. Our precious, most precious valuable asset that everyone has. So, walk. I'm telling you, it's... I just wish more people can do it. And, I, and they should. Anyways, that is my little talk for the day on this Tuesday. Alright, got much love for y'all. I'll catch you next time.